Hey, what's up everyone? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us and today, by request, we're going to take a look inside the Apple Airport Wireless Router Utility. Now this is going to work on your Airport Extreme or Airport Express. It's going to come with a DVD. Go ahead and pop that in and install it. It's going to work on a Mac or a PC. Happen to be in a Mac. This is the latest version of the Airport Utility. And I'm going to give you a little tour and kind of show you how it works. Now to open the software after you've installed it, you can go up to your uh, search box spotlight and type in airport should be your first result and it also should place a shortcut over in your applications folder so anyways when you open it you're gonna to come to this summary tab it's gonna tell you what you've named your device the status if you get a green light on the front it's working well your version number your serial number it's gonna tell you your 5 and 2.4 gigahertz airport IDs Ethernet all kinds of this stuff if you go over to the base station tab you're gonna be able to name your router give it a password set your time zone that it's going to sync to and you can allow setup over a area connection which uh, I don't need to do but it might be nice for you under wireless here's where you can name your wireless names you can tell it what you want to do um, give your network a name so you can find it you can adjust your radio mode if you want to do AN or BG uh, radio or actually I'm sorry I said that wrong you can do AN through BG or just A and BG you don't have to broadcast an N signal if you don't want any outsiders since N goes further getting into your network if it's unsecured radio channel selection you can do automatic or manual security is actually pretty nice here you can do no security which I don't recommend you can do WPA or WPA2 personal WPA2 personal and then you have enterprise which is much more secure and uh, kind of a pain in the butt to get in, which is good. You can adjust your wireless password here. Guest network, here's something that's very, very nice. You can create a guest network. For example, if you have friends coming over, uh, you wanna get them on, their, on your Wi-Fi with their iPods or iPhones or laptops, whatever they're gonna do, you can very easily set up a third account. While your first two are your two and your five gigahertz signal, if you see up here, and then your guest signal, is uh, you can do that in 802.11n if you want and give it a different password. For example, mine uh, might be MacBook. It isn't, but let's say it's MacBook. So then anybody asks your password, you don't have to tell them uh, the real password to get into the whole network. You can just allow them to have a wireless internet connection, which is quite nice. Under access control, you can set MAC address control. MAC address control uh, makes it much more secure. Every airport card, every wireless card, Ethernet jack, it has a somewhat of a serial number address to it. You can only allow certain serial addresses or MAC addresses or wireless adapters to get into the network. So that's much more secure. And that is everything under the airport tab. Go over to internet. Here you're going to have some options to set up your IPs, your DHCPs. You can do uh, your IP, set def default IP addresses. Lots and lots of options in here. And honestly, stock configuration should work fine printers since your airport router has a USB port you can go ahead and plug in a printer port then you can print through your router from here well nowadays we have a lot of wireless printers so this feature uh, really won't be needed in the next couple years but if you do have a wired USB printer you can print wirelessly through your through your router and here's where you can go about setting that up here's disks I currently have a 15 gigabyte SanDisk, SanDisk Micro Cruiser USB flash drive in there. It's only 15 gig. I don't know why it should be 16, but I guess formatted it is uh, 15 gigabytes. Anyways, you can go ahead and put that on your network. Notice down here in my dock, I have something called Airport Drive. Click on that, wait a couple seconds for it to mount, and here it is. 15 gigabytes on my network. I can put anything I like in here. Don't need that. Go ahead and delete it. It's not the fastest reading and write speed, only about 5 or 10 meg per second, but it is nice to be able to move files through the network up to a central location and then maybe tell somebody else in the household who's connected to the network to go get it. You can set this up so it's password protected. You can block it or allow it to guests. Lots of options here under file sharing. Uh, share disks over WAN. You can do a work group or Win server. Lots of options. Here is the advanced tab in here. You can do a lot more advanced stuff that I really don't know what it is. Allow SMCP, okay, I don't really know what that is. Port mapping, you can set up mobile me here. Uh, really nothing too exciting, IPv6 information. Having an airport, I think, is a really, really nice router. I don't know if it's worth nearly $200, but it's a fantastic router. You get excellent range out of it. I've never had a dropped connection. Being able to plug in an external hard drive, a flash drive, or a printer. You could even plug in a USB hub and have multiple devices uh, shared on your network. 
Um, definitely a, a very, very good router. It's relatively secure as uh, in the same state or um, effect that all other wireless routers are, especially with that WPA2 enterprise security. So if anybody has a airport router, go ahead and leave me some comments below. I'll look through them. What do you think? Do you, you like it? Uh, was it was it worth the money? So please let me know. I do look forward to reading those. Our website is techinform.us. My Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then our business Twitter for the website is twitter.com slash techinformus. My uh, live show is on Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. See you guys there or in tomorrow's video.